ever in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000. Right now, for Ladies the and gentlemen, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand on point. Look at the turnover in that kick. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Able to check the high kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right, 
what a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Able to check that kick as well. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Good stick. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Good punch, Lance. Slips. How good is that right hand? And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And he connects there. Twenty seconds left. Throws the right hand there. Ten seconds to go in the round. Second round, straight ahead. Why, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Big body kick. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, nice right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Trying to kick the leg out. So 
he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Right on the button. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand landed. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh man, head kick lands. He's able to slip the left. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. 20 seconds left. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Just missed with the left there. Good punch. once again, this time with the overhand right. 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just misses with the right hook. Great punch landing with so much power. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Huge block there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful strike. Caught the kick. the Superman punch. How about it? And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Just misses there with the left. Effective punch there by Lee. And kick. both guys really throwing with authority. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice counter shot there. Big kick lands. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 20 seconds left. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Liver kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Back down here, work on that crowd. Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. Touch your open gun. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Lee's shot there is blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time 
getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Nice straight punch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Got clipped with the right hand. What a body kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Well, he's got to be on top of the world, dominating this fight. The stamina still on point. He didn't skip those versa climber days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. This has to feel like everything we did in training camp has worked with perfection. Look for him to try to replicate that before his next fight. Just over three minutes to go. Punch is blocked. Straight punch lands. Under three minutes remain in round four. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Nice head kick. Just over two minutes to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Whiffs on that offering. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. Ooh, what a punch. Flush right hand is true. Powerful leg kick lands. Final minute now of round four. Nice uppercut. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Real quick leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice kick. Oh, I, that, I'd probably dislocate my hip. Look at that roundhouse. I mean, he can get that kick off in any direction. If you're not careful, if he throws that kick to the body too many times and you start guessing body, he will take it up high and in your night. Beautiful body kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the key round.
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Slips the shot. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Right punches there. It was a good night if that landed. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. No good, it's blocked. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Under three minutes now to go round five. Big kick lands. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Nice strike. trying to hammer that lead leg. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Go for the single. Go for the single. Get the takedown. We need Under it. two minutes we now to decide this one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice defense there. Huge block. Less than a minute to go to decide this one. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, and he caught the kick. Relax. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, spinning back fist. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big kick land. Connects with a right. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter.
the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!